Hello. I have an announcement at the end of this video as stuff has happened. So what's up? I love it when a bunch of old people decide that a bunch of young people should remain poor. The US Senate has passed a bill that would undo Biden's efforts to relieve some student debt from people who hold student debt. The bill was passed 52 to 48 with all Republicans voting for it and two Democrats, including Joe Manchin and some other guy, crossing over and voting with them. Now, before you freak out, if you have student debt, uh, th th this is probably not gonna do anything. Biden's just gonna veto it. I want to be clear that this bill is explicitly for political points. It's, it's just so that Joe Manchin can appear conservative and all the conservatives can get a win with their base. It's gonna get vetoed. They're not gonna be able to override the veto. The real question is whether or not the Supreme Court is gonna intervene and stop the whole thing from happening. And I mean, I mean, I mean, student debt is stupid. <laughs> It's so dumb. Like imagine having a student loan program and you think that th th these loans should have interest, you know, for the students who are trying to get an education to contribute to the country. They should have to get their education, get a job, pay back the loan, and then some. Instead of just being a member of society and, you know, contributing to the economy. Can't be having that. Who needs journalism? <laughs> Meta, the company that owns Facebook and Instagram is threatening to pull news from California. So Facebook and Instagram benefit greatly from journalism, right? They get shared onto their platform and it makes a bunch of viral clicks and they get a bunch of traffic, but they're not sending that traffic out to the journalism sites and they're not paying them either. And so there's a bill that's being tossed around in California and I think this happened before once, but it essentially says that they would have to pay out into a fund that would then pay out to the news sites. Facebook and Instagram don't like that. And so instead of doing anything right, they're just gonna threatened to stop having news there. Just stop allowing people to talk about current events on your giant platform in one of the largest states in the country. It's cool. Neat. Now one, this is probably a bluff on Meta's part. And two, it is well within their right to decide what they can have and not have on their platform. And that's the problem. Yes, these companies can and do control what they allow to have on their platform. So why are they allowed to have a platform? Who is their oversight? What? For all intents and purposes, Facebook and Instagram are massive communication networks for the entire world. Or well, I mean, a lot of, uh, a good a good chunk of countries, not the whole world, but you know what I mean. Point being, these should not be privately held companies. Moving on, debt ceiling, never heard of it. Oh no, the debt ceiling. Oh, it's, we're gonna default on our debt. It's gonna be so bad. Uh, we're, we're raising the debt ceiling. Yeah, again, tons of political bluster, but essentially we were all having our lives toyed with and the future of our economy just being dang around like it's something that can be tossed to the side and they're just gonna raise the debt ceiling after passing a really crappy bill. It's really cool because none of us have anything to do with the imaginary number that is the debt ceiling. And yet the people who are going to lose from this bill are the average citizens of the country, while major energy conglomerates and billionaires get wins. Meanwhile, my single bag of groceries costs $100. AI might be accidentally covering up war crimes. So massive social networks that have a ton of media uploaded to them like every minute, they use AI to scan through the uploaded stuff and try to just instant delete anything that is like egregious content before it even reaches actual human moderators. But there's um, a few wars happening right now. And what happens if you upload evidence of a war crime and it gets instantly deleted? Just kind of, whoop, that, that didn't happen. On this day in the year 455, the sack of Rome took place. Well, a sack of Rome. There have been multiple. The Vandals, uh, like, like the group called the Vandals, not spray paint people, uh, they, they went into Rome and started just kind of sacking the city. Stealing stuff, maybe burning stuff and breaking stuff. Just a lot of, you know, general sackage. There are conflicting reports on just how sacky this sack was, but it's largely understood that this was an early indicator of the fall of Rome. Lightning round. There is going to be a live stream from Mars, like real soon after I post this video. Amazon is settling like 30 some odd million dollars over an aggregate of privacy violations between Alexa and Ring cameras. If you didn't know, they're remaking Metal Gear Solid 3 and apparently they're going to be using the original voice acting with no alterations. Teen birth rates in the US are at a historic low. Head chud at Blizzard, Bobby Kotick, has blamed labor movements for the recent turmoil at the company. About 800,000 license plates in Maryland have a URL on them that now links to an offshore casino in the Philippines. Vanguard now values Twitter at about one third of what Elon Musk paid for it. 
Corporate employees at Amazon staged a walkout to protest the inaction on climate stuff from the company and also their aggressive return to the office policy. A lawyer was caught citing several fake made up cases that were hallucinated by ChatGPT. And finally for today, I have an announcement. As of today, I am a full-time content creator. Stuff keeps happening, my gaming content and my online community are going to be my full-time focus. I'm gonna take a few weeks to just sort of like get healthy, but I'll still be making Stuff Keeps Happening and whatnot during that time. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode of Stuff Keeps Happening. Head to stuffkeepshappening.online for sources, bonus content, and apparently now my full-time focus. My name is Endeavorance. I'll be back on Monday. Take care and be well.